Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I'm here with a quick video share. Um, I was asked about some of the index card stuff that I had worked on, um, so I wanted to share with you. I have this container that I got that holds index cards. I believe I got it from the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree. Um, if not, I think you can get them at Walmart. Um, and what I do is I keep the blank index cards in here and also some of my finished ones. Um, I'll show you what I mean. And I do have quite a stack to share with you. So let's get going on this. I just took a ruler and sectioned this one off just to draw like different little patterns here because I had gotten bored wanting to do something different and I didn't finish it but I do like that it's unfinished. It does give it some more character too but I can always go back and add more. But there's one. And then I did a tiny square, which I took half of the index card. And just did some doodling on that. And I like using these. I mean, you could do full pieces. Those are great for cards or um, gift tags, you know, anything. But what I like to use them for is for um, doing them something like this. And that gives you room to write a person's name and address and then you can stick this on a package or an envelope or whatever. So I use them as shipping labels which I think is, uh, I like the idea of it. It gives a little bit of um, cuteness to your package. And here's another one I did with kind of more flowers. And here's just the basic one that I did with a partial flower so it's kind of like Add it on, but yeah, I really like how some of these come out. Some of them not so much, but you know, another full one. And these would look really cute no matter which way you put them, and then put like a, one of the girl stamps or even like the little uh, animals. I think they would be really cute on a card or even on a package, like I said. Another. And just a basic wall with some detail, which I really like. And another full one here. I like working on these smaller pieces because they look more detailed and it doesn't take as long and I could usually finish one in a sitting. And I really, really like how this one came out. If you're watching my um, Friday series, I'm doing Doodle Days, I'm going to probably um, mix that up with any kind of like doodling, sketching, whatever, so it won't always be in that book. Maybe I'll do some index cards or whatnot. If you're interested in that, definitely let me know because I'll do it more frequently because I get tired of doing the bigger pages too. But this one could be used this way. I mean, on the side, that would look cute. Or even like that. And like, if you get stuck for ideas, <laughs> this is actually um, taken from a Star Wars fighter. <laughs> it was like, it was what I had in mind while I was doing it. But, yeah. And then I was uh, debating a while back, I did a Rolodex card challenge, and um, I was debating hand drawing all my own index cards and making a Zentangle one and keeping them that way. And I'm still kind of toying with that idea, but I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what I came up with. I traced one of my index cards out on uh, one of my um, Rolodex cards here. Let's see. One of the Rolodex cards. I just laid it down. And then just did some doodles around it. So that's a really cute idea. Um, and you can make your own. And then this way you're not constantly buying them when people change it, their address and everything. And if you're not writing it in an erasable, you know, material, then you're going through them. And here's another full one. Which I really like how this came out too. Like I said, I have more, um, I have better experience, I think, with these ones than I do with the bigger pictures, um, the bigger size paper, because these ones always seem like I don't want to do too much to them or too little, so I think they come out and they actually look nicer, in my opinion, than my bigger series I'm working on now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like my bigger pictures, but not like these. These really, I think, stand out more. And I do use more black on these than in that book, so that could definitely be, you know, part of it, but I do like these little pieces better because they're perfect for your projects. You know, you can send these out to somebody um, and use them 
on your cards and whatnot, or your layouts, which will look good in Project Life or whatnot too. Because you can get the bigger cards for the 4x6. And there's a star there in the center. I really like how these come out. <laughs> I know I'm going to be repetitious here. But no matter which way you orientate the card, I mean, it's kind of not going wrong. I really like how they come out. And this one I did like with a cupcake-like type, which I thought was adorable. And this one here. Just a blank wall, which I was planning on using this for um, a card, actually. These would be great for, um, I'm trying to think. Even if you cut them down to size and stuff, they'd be really cute backgrounds for uh, pocket letters, too, or um, flip books. Sorry, I had to think there. <laughs> And I like this one too. It has like the streaming strobe lights coming from the side, but they're more like webs, which I really like. We're getting down to the last few here in this one. But yeah, my main purpose behind making these and originally was for um, shipping labels. So there's a little bit more detail oriented to label uh, to envelopes and because I was sending out birthday cards like crazy there for a while. I love this one with the checkered and the tree coming up and the leaves hanging down. This is one of my favorites. But yeah, I was doing it because I was sending out a bunch of birthday cards. And they weren't, you know, as detailed as I would like. The envelopes, that is. So I wanted to dress them up. And same with packages when I send out racks. I really wanted to dress them up. Because you don't always have, like, the right stickers for the person or whatever. But this always adds a really nice touch, I think. And here's the last one. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing um, more of these that I work on or want to see me make them, just let me know below. If, if you want to see them, that's great because it'll be easier. I could just show them as I finish them. Um, but if you want to see me make some, let me know that. And then I can film myself working on them as soon as I get a chance. Okay? But I will talk to y'all later. And I hope you give it a try. If you do, definitely tag me in it so I can, or message me or whatever. So this way I could come and check yours out too. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one.